Okay, in this video we will go through question 14 and 15 from AS 2018 edX paper. Okay, question 14. The second C has equation of x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 10y plus 9 equal to 0. Find A. A part 1. The coordinate of the center and part B the radius of uh, the coordinate of uh, the center of circle C and two the radius of C. To find the coordinate of center and radius, all we need to do is just complete the square for both x and y. So let's write down the equation again. x squared add y squared minus 6x add 10y add 9 equal to 0. So let's bring all the x's together. x squared minus 6x plus, similarly, let's bring y, y together. y squared plus 10y add 9 equal to 0. Completing x squared for x, we get x minus 3 squared minus, minus 3 squared plus y plus 5 squared minus 5 squared add 9 equal to 0. Let's simplify this a bit further. x minus 3 squared minus 9 plus y plus 5 squared minus 25 plus 9 equal to 0. Let's add all the numbers. Minus 9 minus 25 which is minus 34 plus 9 is minus 25. Okay, so x minus 3 squared plus y plus 5 squared is equal to 25. And the center of the circle would be, so for part 1, center is 3 and minus 5. And part 2 radius is equal to r squared is radius squared is 25, therefore r is equals to lowercase r equals to 5. Okay, so let's move on to the next part of the question. The line with the equation of y equal to kx, y equals to kx, where k is a constant, cut c at two distinct points. Find the range of possible values for k. So, first of all, this one is the equation of a circle. Let's just draw the diagram. Okay, so here is the circle. Let's say, this is y equals to kx, okay, so it cuts the circle at two distinct points, okay. All we need to do here, just substitute y equal to kx into equation of the circle and solve the quadratic to find the value of k or k value. Let's move the paper a little bit up. Just to save some space. Okay. So x minus 3 squared plus y plus 5. y is kx. kx plus 5 squared equals to 25. Let's expand and simplify. x minus 3 squared is x squared minus 6x plus 9. Add kx plus 5 squared is k squared x squared plus 10 kx plus 25 equals to 25. This 25 and 25 cancels. What we've got is x squared plus k squared x squared. Okay, minus 6x plus 10 kx plus 9 equal to 0. Okay.
Let's simplify this a bit further by factorizing from x squared and x. 1 plus k squared x squared minus or plus 10k minus 6 x plus 9 equal to 0. Okay, for this line, to cut this circle at two distinct point or points, e squared minus 4ac must be greater than 0. What is a, b, and c? a is 1 plus k squared, b is 10k minus 6, and c is 9. Okay, so... Therefore, let's apply the formula. I'll just move the paper a little bit further. Okay, so B squared minus 4AC. 10K minus 6 squared minus 4A, which is 1 plus K squared times by c, which is 9, must be greater than 0. Okay, let's expand and simplify and solve the inequality. Okay, 10k minus 6 squared is 100k squared minus 120k plus 36 minus 36 minus 36 k squared is greater than zero. Okay. So let's simplify a bit further. 100 k squared minus 36 k squared, which is 64 k squared minus 120 k 36 minus 36 is 0, greater than 0. Let's factorize from 8k. We get 8k minus 15 is greater than 0. Okay, so if we solve it as an equation, 8k times 8k minus 15 equals 0. 8k is equal to 0 which means k is equal to 0, or 8k minus 15 equals to 0, therefore k is 15 over 8. Okay, so let's switch the diagram. A graph, okay. So the roots are 0 and 15 over k. 0 and 15 over k. The graph will be u-shaped because a is greater than 0 here. Okay, something like this. And we are looking for all the values which is greater than 0. So it would be like this, greater than 0. So this is 0, this is 15 over 8. Therefore, k is less than 0 or k is greater than 15 over 18. Okay. Okay, here is the full solution, just in case if you want to stop the video and look at the full solution. Okay, the next question is question 15, which is the last question from this paper. Okay, let's move on to new page. Right, here is a question. Question 15. 
Here is a diagram. Figure 4 shows the sketch of part of the curve C with the equation of y equal to 32 over x squared plus 3x minus 8, where x is greater than 0. The point for P with coordinate of 4 and 6, which is this point, 4 and 6, okay, lies on C. The line L is the normal to C. So this line is L, normal to the C at point P. The region R, which is this region, shown shaded in figure 4, is bounded by the line L, this line, the curve C, this curve, the line with the equation of x equals to 2, which is this line, okay, and the x-axis here. Show that the area of R is 46. Okay. To show the area of R is 46, all we need to do is obviously to find the area using the integration at some point. Okay, so what we could do, we could divide this shape into two parts. Let's draw a straight line here. The x coordinate here is 4. Okay. And this one is a triangle. But unfortunately, we don't know the equation of this triangle. Okay? But we know the coordinate of P, and we know L is normal for the curve. Okay? If L is normal for the curve, we could say, okay, let's write down 15. If L is normal for the curve, okay, we could work out equation for L. By working out dy over dx first, okay, of the curve, and then work out gradient of tangent, and negative reciprocal of gradient of tangent would be gradient of normal. Okay, we're going to differentiate y equal to 32 x to the power of minus 2, Add 3x minus 8. Okay, so which would be minus 64 x to the power of minus 3. Add 3. Now we need to work out dy over dx when x is equal to 4. Okay, so when x is equal to 4. If we sub into the minus 64 over 4 to the power of 3, add 3, which is equals to 2. Therefore, m of normal is minus 1 over 2. Okay, let's write an equation for the L to work out is coordinated. Okay. Y minus Y naught equals to M times X minus X naught. We've got a coordinate on the line, which is 4 and 6. And we've got the gradient, which is minus 4. Y minus 6 is equal to minus 5 times X minus 4. Okay. So, we need to now work out this point. At this point, so this is the equation of L now, we don't really need to simplify, as the aim is not to work out the equation of the normal. The reason why we're working it out is just to work out this coordinate, okay? So, at this point, the y value is 0, therefore sub 0 here. Let's call this one point Q. For point Q, okay, 0 minus 6 equals to minus a half x minus 4. Okay, multiply both sides by negative 2, you get 12 equal to x minus 4, therefore x is equal to 16. So we've got 16 for this point, 16 and 0. Okay, now 
let's divide this shape into let's say r1 and r2 this triangle is r2 and this shape is r1 to find the full area all we need to do find the integration of this one so r1 is equal to integration of the curve which is 32 over x squared plus 3x minus 8 okay and then obviously r2 is equal to area of the triangle okay half however for r1 we have to define the boundaries as well which is from 2 to 4. for r2 we've got half base times height the base is 16 minus 4 okay and the height is 6 okay 3 times by 12 which is 36 okay r2 is 36 now to work out r1 we need to integrate the function okay i already worked out r1 r2 here okay now let's work out r1 okay we need to integrate 32 x to the minus 2 plus 3 x minus 8 with respect to x i forgot to write down dx here okay from 2 to 4 which is equal to minus 32 x to the minus 1 plus 3 over 2 x squared minus 8x we don't need plus c because they are boundaries lower and upper boundaries okay now let's start minus 4 first minus 32 over 4 plus 3 over 2 times by 4 squared minus 8 times by 4 minus now let's sub 2 okay minus 32 over 2 plus 3 over 2 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 close the bracket if we simplify this we should be able to get 10. So this one is minus 16. Minus, this one is minus 26, which is 10. And we know that the total area is R is equal to R1 plus R2. Okay, so here is uh, R1 and R2. R1 was integration of the 32 over x squared plus 3x minus 8 from 2 to 4 and r2 is a triangle which we already worked out the area which was 36 units squared okay so therefore r is equal to r1 which is 10 and r2 which is 36 which is 46 units squared and this is the end of the AS paper 2018. Okay.